woke up this morning with some fresh snow on the ground and I just love it when the trees are covered with snow. I think it's so beautiful and on days like today when I have a lot of cleaning and organizing to do, it just gets me motivated and makes me want to clean my house and make it all cozy so I can sit on my couch and enjoy the snow. I just can't help it but look outside my kitchen window and I get to see this view after a fresh snowfall. It is so beautiful and just so relaxing. Here I'm going to fill our Keurig pods in our little cupboard here. We just keep a few in a little basket so that we don't have to keep the big box out and visible because it's quite an eyesore. But it's nice just to be able to restock our basket so that we have coffee pods in the mornings when we want to have our coffee. So this morning my husband was off work so I decided to make him a nice hot coffee and bring it to him in bed so that he could relax and just enjoy his morning off. So now that we've had our morning coffee, I'm going to liven things up here, play some music, get some cleaning on the go because that is the reason why I am here today. And we are going to start with some laundry. The first thing that I like to do when I'm doing a house cleaning day is to throw a load of laundry in because I don't want to be doing laundry late into the night. I want to be able to have it going first thing so I don't have to worry about it. And while I'm cleaning, it will be cleaning. So here we are. Welcome to my creepy, creepy basement. <laughs> um, I'm actually not terrified to go down there, but I, I thought I would be when we first moved in here because it is just dark and damp and the windows are kind of taped up. It's a pretty scary scene. And another thing I like to do first thing is to open up the blinds and get the sun shining in our house. So you saw that big pile of laundry, it only gets bigger. And one of the next things I like to do first is to clean the kitchen. I love cleaning my house. I am someone who I get relaxed when I am cleaning. It makes me calm down, it helps my stress levels and anxiety, and it just feels so good. But today, I just did not want to wake up and clean the house. But there's something so rewarding about just starting something small. I told myself, okay, I'm just gonna throw in a load of laundry, and we'll kind of get a slow start, have our coffee. And now by this time, I am just pumped. I am just so ready to take on the day and finish those things on my to-do list that have been adding up. It's been a pretty busy couple of weeks and I've been keeping the home pretty tidy. 
but there's a lot of things that I haven't been keeping on top of um, in regards to cleaning. So today was kind of just a basics, you know, getting all the necessary areas out of the way. And on this day, I did have to work in the later afternoon. So this cleaning video is going to feature a couple different days just to make sure that I can get everything in and work around my work schedule. feelings when you can fill up your dishwasher and press that start button and just hear it working away. I didn't have a dishwasher for many many years and I think I always prided myself on the fact that I did my dishes by hand. <laughs> I'm telling you I run my dishwasher every single day and I love it. And another great feeling is looking at your kitchen and it's all clean and you can move on to your ne next task, which here is changing over the laundry, throwing everything in the washer into the dryer and getting on the pile of clothes that are waiting for me on the bed. Folding laundry is probably one of my least favorite things to do, but I love putting laundry away once it's all done. So sometimes I will recruit my husband and we'll just do it together and it gets done really fast. But most days because he works long hours, I just need to get it done because otherwise we'll be sleeping on a pile of laundry or we move it from the bed to the couch and then the next day from the couch to the bed until it finally gets done. So I was pretty happy today to get all of the laundry folded and clean and washed and it was just nice knowing that 
we had fresh clothes in our wardrobes and sheets to go onto the bed and it was just a really good feeling. And another rewarding feeling, seeing all the clothes done and put away. So here we are the next day and I have to clean the bathroom. Uh, it is in need of a really good scrub down and because our countertops here are white you can see every little piece of dirt and hair and soap and toothpaste and this toilet as well needs to be uh, disinfected and scrubbed down. And I did clean the tub last or two weeks ago or maybe last week but our tub just clings onto dirt or di dirt clings onto our tub and it just gets really grimy and I've been having a couple of bubble baths because it's been pretty cold so I need to scrub that down so I'm just gonna get some water here to do the sink and I just use kind of a cheap discount brand um, discount cleaner to do the countertops and the sink and then I have different cleaner just a bleach spray for the toilet and for the tub I'll usually use um, Vim and uh, usually vinegar and dishwash soap but that hasn't really been working for me very well in the tub so I just use Vim and today I'm going to be using the rest of the um, cleaner and hot water to do the tub so I'm gonna get at it I always wear a glove I have one pink glove from the dollar store the other one I ripped a hole in it so it's just gonna have to be the one glove luckily I am left-handed so it is the left glove and I'm just gonna get to work probably can't see it in the video and I'm not going to focus on it today or show you everything here but our bathroom is in need of a lot of repairs. The flooring is peeling in the corners. The baseboards aren't completely flush to the wall. Um, there's mismatched colors in here and if you could see on the sink there there's some dents and scratches but that was because I tried to fix this bathroom up and do a paint job and while well, removing the mirror it shattered all over the sink. So that was my fault. But I think the important thing here is no matter what state your home is in, we can't always afford to do renovations and do a major fix to make it the way we want. But what we can control is our ability to take care of the things that we have. If we're good stewards of the things we have, it's just going to bring us joy, it's going to bring our family joy, and it's going to make us feel that what we have is more precious than if we just left it um, to get worse and worse.
feel so good to have a clean bathroom. And I think I might just take advantage of the fact that the tub is so scrubbed down and clean. And I think I might have another bubble bath tonight because it is still snowing and very cold. at this point it's starting to get pretty late and I'm winding down a little bit and really looking forward to having a bubble bath so all I really had energy for was to finish vacuuming the house and what we did this past year was we invested in a cordless vacuum I think it's the Bissell pet pet wave or something like that um, and it is just so nice to not have to worry about a cord. The only problem is you have to make sure that it's fully charged if you're wanting to do a large area of vacuuming. Otherwise, it will die on you when you're in the middle of a motivating clean. <laughs> so it did last up until the end for me and I got everything I needed to get done for the day. I decided not to mop and instead just to take care of myself on this night and unwind and get ready for the next day of work. And as you can see, Puppy is on the carpet there. That's our dog, Prince. And even though he doesn't really like the sound of the vacuum, he was not moving. And I didn't try to make him move because he's getting a bit older and a little bit sore. So I just worked around him, I vacuumed around him, and I'll just go over the carpet again another day, and that's totally fine. He's enjoying himself, he's happy to have me working around him, and you'll see he gets some snuggles too. So thank you so much for tuning into this video, thank you for watching, and if you're interested in homemaking, homestead, and simple living, please consider subscribing. We would love to have you with the growing community of Come Home Cottage. Thanks again and have a great day.